Hello and welcome back to Evenings with Anna. How you guys doing? Thank you so much for coming by. I really appreciate it. So tonight, let's talk. Let's talk just for a little while. Um, we are in the state of Maryland and this is the weekend when we were supposed to be hit with our first snowstorm. It has turned out to be a wah, wah, wah. Yeah. A non-event. It is raining outside. It is. Uh, it's cold and rainy, but that's about it. <laughs> I was really hoping for some snow. I was counting on it. I was like, give me some snow, please. But it didn't happen. Um, in our last evenings with Anna, I recommend it for you guys to look up bricks, B R I C S bricks. And a lot of you actually looked it up and you saw what I was talking about and who just joined on January 1st. Um, they're basically try, trying to, uh, you know, not use the U.S. dollar anymore. Yeah, they're not. They're not. And um, that's one of the ways that they're going to do it is uh, through BRICS. And uh, the, less, the less the countries use it, the less monetary value and power it will hold. So check into BRICS, you guys educate yourselves. I don't want to sit here and tell you guys everything because I believe that everybody should, you know, do their own research, educate yourselves. Um, don't always believe what everybody says. Um, do your own research so you can know what's going on. You can understand what's actually happening. Um, so that's a little concerning, of course, besides everything else that's happening in the world. But, uh, you know, I'm thinking about things that are happening right here that could affect us tremendously, our lives and our ability to do things and um, to pay bills, to buy food. Everything has literally gone up in our lives, including our mortgage, our, our um, insurances um, for, our, for our home and for our business, water, electric. I mean, food is just continuously rising. Um, I see little reprieve from that. I shared that I bought five pounds worth of ground beef the other day, just for $20 and 99 cents. So 21 bucks for five pounds of ground beef. And we are a family of six. So, um, that's a little concerning. It is. Then, uh, you're looking at paying really high prices for some fresh food now. And fresh food is just not lasting as long. It's not. Uh, we could buy some strawberries. We could buy avocados. We could buy oranges. I mean, you name it, apples. Um, you know, uh, what is it? Uh, broccoli, asparagus. And uh, we'll buy it. And then within a matter of, I kid you not, like two days, sometimes three, it's already going bad. It's just not lasting like the way it normally does. I'm not too sure what's going on with that. And I'm really concerned with it because the amount of money that we're paying for fresh food is um, very expensive. They're not making it easy to be healthy right now. Um, a lot of families are having to not shop the fresh food area because they simply can't afford it and feed their families um, a shopping specifically in that one section anymore. You know, they always tell you to shop the exterior of the store for the freshest food um, versus the more processed foods that are in the middle. Um, but now most families now are having just to eat and survive on mostly, not completely all, but a lot of processed food. And, um, you know, I am not one to judge. I I share my Dollar Tree hauls with you. I buy canned foods. I am a prepper. I buy whatever. I buy long-term 30-year food. I buy whatever is going to last and for however long it's going to last, okay? And I believe in that, okay? We eat canned food all the time. We do. Um, as a matter of fact, I have a, car, uh, a, a can of Dinty Moore beef stew downstairs and my son wants me to put together for him, okay? So... Don't judge other people with their ability of what they can buy for their families. As long as their families are being nourished and there are no hungry tummies, 
and no one's going to, to sleep hungry. That's what's important. So don't be judgmental, please. Don't be judgmental on what people purchase. What you can do versus what another family can do are two different stories. Okay? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I was watching another channel yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah, I think it was yesterday. And uh, I think, I think uh, I'm subscribed to her. I think she's Grandma Sandy. And I, yeah, Grandma, Grandma Sandy. I also watch Mornings with Granny. I always watch Mornings with Granny too. She's good. Um, I watch Rhoda Stone. Rhoda Stone. She's a senior citizen that gives you uh, real cooking. This is what I bought. This is how I'm prepping. This is what I'm making to eat. This is how I'm saving money. And she talks to you about it in all her videos and she's showing you and now I'm using this, what I bought. And this is, you know, she's showing you how she makes it happen. So she's a good one to watch too. Rhoda Stone, uh, for prepping and she's a senior citizen. Well, back to um, uh, Grandma Sandy, she did a really good video and I posted it on my community page about retirement and how she uh, was breaking down what her bills were, you know, generalized and how she was saving her money and she was going on a no spend. Um, even though she's still working right now, she's going on a no spend and she's trying to figure out once she retires what her what her real situation will be um, living off of, you know, social security. Okay. And how can they make that happen? Now, from my understanding, they have worked very, 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 very hard, her and her husband to be debt free, which is a blessing that within itself is a feat. Um, so I think everybody should be working towards that. I'm trying to work towards that, even though it could be very difficult to do that. I'm working towards that. I was debt free at one point and I kind of like dug myself in a hole again. So I'm, I'm, I'm working towards it again, slowly but surely. But I found her video to be very interesting and very enlightening. It's, it's, a, it's an eye awakening moment when you have to figure out how can you live off of X amount of money and then you lay it all out and you put the money out in envelopes or she used, you know, her clear, her clear money, um, zipper ones. And she was like, this amount of money was for groceries. This amount of money, this, it gives you like a real world idea of, wow. So that's how they're doing it. Well, I know ours is a whole lot more. Ours is, is more than an average bear just because we're business owners. So, you know, we have our mortgage here, but we have our rent there. We have double everything, absolutely double everything. And then throw in homeowner's insurance, not HOA. Sorry, HOA. We have a HOA, Homeowners Association, and they just raised up their rates too. Everybody has literally raised up their rates on everything, everything. And this area is still booming with growth. But back to Grandma Sandy. Um, it was a very, it made me pause the video, write down some things. I made some notes. And, you know, we're, we're no spring chickens here. <laughs> My husband and I are not spring chickens, not by any means. But we do, we're, even though we're, you know, getting towards that age where a lot of people have the opportunity to try to retire, uh, we still have, you know, kiddos. We got a 13-year-old, we got nine-year-old twins. Uh, you know, we're, we kind of push that reset button. And, uh, so that's not going to be in the game for us for a while, but, uh, trying to get to the point where you can make it happen is the name of the game. So it can still make sense even while you have your kiddos at home. See what I'm saying? So that I found it enlightening and I had really appreciated the fact that she had shared it. So it's on my community page. If you want to go check it out, go to my community page on my main channel and check it out. I also posted uh, a video with uh, Alaska Prepper. He had did a live. He did a really good one today, actually. It wasn't a lot. It wasn't a lot, but it was a regular video. And he discussed a lot of things about 
um, the economy, the dollar, what's happening with immigration, um, what's happening with, you know, across, across the pond. And it's a lot to ponder and a lot to think about and its effects on us and our ability to get the things that we need um, and be able to still be comfortable. Okay. So just think about those type of things. Go check out his video as well. But I'm going to end it here. It's going to be a short one. Like I said, it's going to be a short one. Go check out my um, other videos. I really appreciate your support. But I'm going to talk to you all tomorrow, okay? Bye.